Governor Pete Ricketts joined state transportation officials and local dignitaries Monday to celebrate the completion of the U.S. 385 expansion to four lanes from Angora Hill to the Box Butte County line. During remarks at a carrier enforcement pullout north of Angora, Ricketts said completion of each segment of the Heartland Expressway will make it more attractive as an alternative to I-25 and with that, additional development along the corridor. With uh, NAFTA getting re-signed as the U.S.-Mexico-Canada trade agreement, we should see continued development of the three countries' trade relationships that will help bring more traffic through the Nebraska Panhandle. Uh, it will also help not only developing economic development for our cities here in the Panhandle, as well as uh, trade, but also for safety and convenience and making the whole process of transportation through the Panhandle easier. Nebraska Department of Transportation Director John Selmer said the efforts of the engineer, contractor, and District 5 NDOT helped bring the project completion six months ahead of schedule. It shouldn't have been open until next spring. And that's a tremendous uh, accomplishment given that we're coming out of the pandemic, supply chain issues, labor force issues. So uh, our hats off to them. And then finally, I'd like to just thank uh, uh, our District 5 team in terms of their effort and Doug Hovick in, in working and coordinating and facilitating such that we do have this uh, uh, successful project that we can all feel proud about. Meanwhile, Alliance Mayor Mike Daphne said completion of each segment of the expressway is paying dividends. Five businesses have located on the Heartland with its development. Uh, Maverick came in, runs a Holiday Inn Express, PepsiCo of Lincoln, Baumgart's uh, relocated and we're waiting on a extended stay hotel to go up there. So uh, what that outline did was give us a blueprint of what we hoped was going to take place. It did. It can only get better. The Heartlands Expressway's sole goal is to connect Denver to Rapid City to improve travel and regional economies.